Hello everyone and welcome to a special Christmas edition of Vegan Orb. Vegan and plant-based news today for a healthier world tomorrow. As it is Christmas and a time of giving and good cheer, we are focusing our news stories on a unique selection of vegan businesses and what wonderful gifts they have for you at this time of year. At the recent VegFest UK, we filmed a selection of awesome vegan businesses and in this video they will tell you all about what they have to offer and why they are vegan. Also stick around to the end where I, Miss Red Vegan, will reveal what I recommend for gifts for the holiday season. Hi, uh, I'm, I'm Luke from Viva La Vegan. Um, I'm the lesser known half of Viva La Vegan. Jay, uh, Jay Charter, who's the founder of Viva La Vegan, um, founded this company almost almost six years ago. Um, basically, Jay had a long long history and long experience of working in the high street fashion industry and got very um, upset about um, working practices and how garments are produced. Fast fashion is just taking over this country and people don't realize the damage the fast fashion is doing to the environment. Um, Jay is a, Jay and I are both passionate vegans, and obviously Jay, being a vegan, she decided she wanted to create a, a clothing fashion company based on her ethos of uh, veganism, sustainability, ethically produced goods, and uh, quality design-led products. Over the five years that we've been trading, we have grown from 10 initial t-shirt designs to over 400 um, different products, either whether they be um, clothing, t-shirts, jackets, uh, to the merchandise that you can clearly see on, on, our, on our store today. I personally am very proud of what um, Jay, Jay has done in terms of just the prolific amount of designing she does. And um, just a few ideas, because I know this is about uh, ideas for Christmas gifts. Uh, Viva La Vegan obviously has a wide range of t-shirts. I'm gonna pick two male, and two female, my personal favourites, which I think might be suitable for, for gifts for Christmas. And we'll start with the ladies. Uh, this is um, Vegan Queen of Hearts. Very simple graphic on the front. All organic t-shirts, all our t-shirts are organic. And then on the back, I think the wording, I mean the graphics is amazing, but the wording says it all. Uh, love, compassion, vegan. I'll just say that again, love, compassion, vegan, because that's what it's all about. And they're the bottom queen of hearts. Um, it's a conversation starter, or like all our t-shirts, we have various designs. Some are in your face vegan. Uh, we don't use swear words. We're not into um, using the F-bomb to, uh, to ignite an, an emotion in non-vegans. Um, this is another one of our designs. This has been flying off the off the racks um, over the last um, four weeks since it um, came into fruition, um, and it's it's about reducing the amount of plastic in the seas. And so we've got a mermaid's tail on the front, and it says, "Don't be afraid to make waves." And then on the back, just a beautiful gra graphics, all about uh, mermaid renovation. Renovation, revolution, uh, protecting our oceans. Now on to the gents. I'm going to have to turn my back on you. I'm so sorry. Now the first one, if you've been to our store, you, you well, both of them you've probably seen, but the first one has been. It's it's one of the t-shirts I'm talking about, which isn't in your face vegan. It says humane being on the front. Uh, we could have a long conversation about what humane being is, and I know that many people probably do when they're uh, discussing this t-shirt. But on the back we have. A beautiful quote and again organic t-shirts sustainably sourced and they're one of the be most beautiful graphics and our customers love this this t-shirt is the break the cycle which is all about breaking the cycle of animals being used for entertainment and then, then again on the back we've got a lovely lovely quote Until all cages are empty, all chains are broken, until every voice is heard, until all are free. So it really is about liberation. Okay. Um, thank you ever so much. You can find us at um, www.viva-la-vegan.com. Uh, www
Thank you ever so much. Hi, my name is Amari McQueen. I'm 11 years old and I have my own company called Japalicious. I'm the youngest restaurateur in the world. I'm the youngest award winning vegan chef in the UK. And the way I come up with my business is when I had a YouTube channel called The Mario Maker Show and I made the vegan piece on my YouTube channel but because I don't like my food being too dry I didn't know if hand tomato sauce was vegan so I decided to make my own vegan dip and a few weeks after that I went to this trip with my school to Kazania and that Kazania have to work for people and I didn't want to work for people, I wanted people to work for me. Then I told my mum and then she said, then you could have your own business. And then so I used my dips to get me this far. My favourite dip is my new one, um, Loving Jack. And that has um, barbecue jack with um, sweet peppers. And then there's sour breeze. That's avocado, lime, lemon and chickpeas and then Caribbean cake, mango, pineapple and chilli that was the first one I made Kogo curry, coconut curry with sweet peppers and sweet tooth, pear, peach and nutmeg I like the spice and with the Caribbean cake I love the mango with the sweet tooth I love the um, peach and with the cocoa curry I like the coconut Top Tip Tuesday is where I tell people about um, the benefits of fruits and vegetables. Um, next year, um, I want to get my food truck because I would have more money. So I can get my food truck to pay my dad's bills so he doesn't go to work and he can spend time with me. And then I can book a holiday so he can all go on holiday for the hard work. This Christmas, the dip I would recommend is Caribbean cake. You can find me on Instagram. My mom is in charge of my Facebook and I'm in charge of my um, LinkedIn. To anyone who's not vegan, you should change, you should taste my food and not and change your mind. <laughs> Hi everyone, Sue here from Hey Gorgeous UK. We're at London Veg Fest at the Olympia. This is day two of an absolutely fabulous weekend. The bad weather yesterday brought loads of people in with nothing else to do. I wanted to briefly tell you about two of our latest products. This is our collagen triphase. Uh, and if you're a woman of a certain age like I am, then these are the products for you. Uh, the triphase is the first phase is cold pressed oil that gives the skin a glow. Uh, the second phase is collagen and hyaluronic acid to really pump up the lines to get rid of the sagginess and sallowness that comes with winter. And the third phase is uh, to nourish the skin and give the surface of the skin a dewy glow. So the results are instantaneous. You use the product and immediately you can see yourself looking younger, less wrinkles. And they're also cumulative. As you use the product over time, your skin looks more and more younger, less foundation needed you just look like younger uh, I'm absolutely loving them these are my go-to for winter my skin is drinking up the moisture and nourishment uh, if you would love to try this product you can order it online from our website and remember if you download our fact sheet you can get 25% off see you soon bye hey everyone I'm Jordan from Heart Cure uh, we're a not-for-profit vegan clothing company uh, we started the company to raise awareness about veganism through logo t-shirts that can be seen all around the world and we raise money for Brook Farm Animal Sanctuary, different activists and organisations. You can check out some of the products here now. I'll be honest, like, there wasn't a lot of choice for t-shirts three years ago when we started this. So the only conclusion we came up was you know, to make our own. So that's how it began. We just started making our own t-shirts and it just grew from there really. Now we do hoodies, bags, patches, stickers, yeah, do a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, so yeah, this one in particular is one of the best sellers, you know. Uh, people love to spread the message wherever they are, uh, front of the t-shirt, back of the t-shirt, uh, and especially the thought-provoking designs, you know. That's what we're doing, we're spreading the message about veganism. It's like a walking placard every day, just on your t-shirt, yeah. That's how we like to think of it. Probably one of our most popular items, actually, are hats and beanies. Uh, spend a lot of time designing these, uh, to make sure people can effectively spread the message whilst keeping their heads warm. So most of them are made from organic cotton 
Uh, and in fact, some of our new range we're starting to launch is, uh, is offcuts of organic cotton from the factory and then mixed in with uh, recycled PET. So it's a complete recycled t-shirt. We're not making any new materials here. So yeah, blending in for like circular fashion, uh, trying to combat and slow down the fashion industry, you know. You know what, me and G actually, uh, my partner here, Georgia, we spend hours every day like brainstorming and conceptualizing different products, different ideas, and there's, there's a ton of stuff in the works. A lot of stuff which probably won't be released, and if we could release it all, we would need like a much bigger team. But yeah, we sort of pick the stuff that is going to be the most effective and yeah, work on that. But yeah, a lot of creativity going on. And uh, yeah, we, we hope you guys love the products. Yeah. So yeah, we sell online. Uh, check us out on Instagram. That's the best way to check out who we are, what we're about for our feed on there. Uh, Facebook, uh, a little bit on YouTube. Hope you enjoy our stuff. Well, I'm Jacques from Coco Caravan and we're here at the Bath Winter uh, Christmas uh, festival, all vegan, so a pool full of vegans. Um, I'm a vegan chocolate maker and we're based in Stroud and we've travelled the globe. Um, started off in Australia, then Cardiff, now in Stroud, and today we're here in uh, in Bath. Um, yeah, my brand's called uh, Coco Caravan because um, we bring our chocolate around the world. We're a bit of a travelling uh, kind of couple. And yeah, we've been making it for about six years or seven years, started in Australia. And uh, now we're just bringing our chocolate here to the market. So what's so special about my chocolate? Um, I've got a huge variety, but I focus on working with really uh, healthy sweeteners. So I use uh, coconut nectar as a sweetener instead of using normal refined sugars. Uh, the coconut nectar comes from, uh, from Java. It's been harvested from, uh, from the coconut flowers. So it's really made, made to be eaten by, uh, normally by, by birds or by monkeys. And in this case, we're the monkeys that eat it. Um, so then we play around with fruits or with, uh, with spices, with flavors, with coconut milk or with nuts. Um, and another really popular one uh, is our caramel filled bars. Um, we won several uh, great taste awards uh, with our caramel bars as with our other chocolate bars. And then about two years ago, um, because we wanted to have a bit more of a story uh, behind the, the cacao, where it was coming from, We've always bought uh, organic and fair trade because we're um, organically certified. Um, we've always bought it from uh, from Peru, uh, but I just wanted to have a bit more of a variety. So um, what I started doing about two years ago, I started working bean to bar, uh, buying beans directly from the farms. Direct trade means we can pay the farmers about 80% more, sometimes even 160% more. Uh, which is better for them and we get really premium cacao and we know where it's coming from, we know it's good. So um, with that, uh, yeah, after six years of really hard work, really came the crown to my hard work, winning uh, a silver um, with our Mexican cacao and then a gold. Uh, so the silver one, that's uh, it's this one here. That's my uh, silver Tabasqueño from, um, from Mexico. Uh, absolutely amazing cacao, really nice and smoky, and um, even better, we're really surprised judges with our 100% uh, Arawaco cacao from Colombia. Next week I'll be going to Colombia and I'm hoping to meet the people behind these beans. They're uh, the indigenous people, they live on the coast of uh, Colombia. Um, they've had it hard over the past 40 years and now they're coming back to their ancestral lands, rediscovering their cacao and uh, you know, continue to farm and produce it and uh, we get it direct from them. So they get a premium price and we get a premium product and, um, and that's how we can make our yeah, award-winning chocolate. So yeah, dig in, have a try. www.cococaravan, so that's C-O-C-O caravan.co.uk or .com. So, and we sh ship from there uh, all over the world, from, yeah, from Kazakhstan to the US. Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm here with the company Green Jeeva Limited. We are a artisan, independent, vegan perfume company and we make perfumes which are fragranced only naturally, 100% natural ingredients for the fragrance. We use precious flowers, absolutes and we also use essential oils. We have six perfumes at the moment. We have three which are inspired by an Indian trip we took. We went to Maharashtra. 
and we have three which we released over summer which are more floral. Our best seller at the moment is the Spirit Perfume and that's fragrance with lotus and a number of other ingredients. It's a relaxing, calming and soothing perfume. And then we also have a perfume that's called Mimi and that's a super sweet floral that gives you notes of Parma Violet. They're all completely unique, handmade and uh, we're really proud of them. So our company is based in Newport in South Wales but we are online. We're at greengeva.com and we obviously have an online shop where you can purchase our products. And we're on Instagram, uh, at GreenGeva UK. And it's the same handle for Facebook and Twitter as well. We're passionate about this because what we wanted to create was, were fantastic fragrances, but without any of the nasties that come potentially with commercial perfumes. So there's no synthetics. We wanted something that was honest. We wanted a product that was transparent. We give you a full list of all of our ingredients. We don't hide anything and we want people to feel the aromatherapeutic benefits of the oils that we use in our products as well. So this is our best seller right now. It's Spirit and it's, we like to call it an Indian botanical floral. It's based around the fragrance given by the lotus flower and the reason we called it Spirit is because the lotus flower opens to the afternoon sun and it's a symbol of enlightenment and therefore this is called Spirit. THTC Limited, Clothing Limited is the name of the company, uh, which I started with my brother and another friend called Dan Sodegren 20 years ago. Um, we're 20 years in November, actually. So we started off the back of Hemp Awareness Societies at university called Hempology, where we used to put on talks and events and show people samples of hemp in all its forms, from plastic to textiles to paper, uh, cosmetics and then try and essentially spread the word about the, the hemp plant. Massive rise uh, in, in the vegan community, uh, huge amounts of new products and the quality of the products, I think particularly the food is, uh, you know, is, is just is, is incomparable to how it was before. And obviously, obviously awareness has gone up a lot in that time, environmental awareness, uh, human and animal right awareness. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's the last few years, particularly seeing a lot of celebrities getting involved, I think it's, it's really come a long way. It's always really been to bring hemp to the high streets, commercialise hemp as a textile. And really if I hadn't got into clothing and textiles, it would have been hemp plastics, it would have been somewhere in the hemp industry. Uh, that industry as well, the cannabis and hemp industry has grown massively in the last five to ten years particularly, come on leaps and bounds. So the quality of the fabrics is so much better than they were. So hemp uses a lot less water than conventional cotton. So you can grow a hemp, produce a hemp t-shirt about 400 litres as opposed to 4,000 litres of water. Um, so anything you make from hemp can be grown, hemp can be grown organically, it doesn't need pesticides and chemicals and it's byproducts, uh, it has thousands of byproducts. King David here is it's taken from a photo by a very famous photographer called Nadav Kanda. And it's in uh, collaboration with the World Land Trust, so we give them 20% of this t-shirt and they uh, safeguard rainforest. Um, this is with a friend of mine called Fibe. Um, we sat down together and he's just a great pencil artist. Sat down together and came up with a concept. I wanted to do a, a turtle. I wanted to raise awareness of plastic pollution and we decided to make his, his shell into the, the planet, the globe, to make it more pertinent. Um, he's looking for land at the moment. So, um, this is Mau Mau, so we've worked, I've worked with Mau Mau for about 18 years. I think it's fair to say without Mau Mau there'd be no THTC. He, um, his artwork is standalone, he, he just creates it and then I kind of say to him, can I put this on a t-shirt? Uh, he's great at slogans. This is actually one of the first Mau Mau designs that we ever did, this Evil Mac, which has been very, very popular within the vegan scene as well. Um, this is Plastic Fish, again raising awareness about plastic in the oceans. Uh, this is a concept of mine, which I then gave to a friend called Ed Hicks, who did the artwork for it. I thought, if I can make where the wild things are, it's quite dark, I might make it a bit darker by chopping all the trees down. <laughs> um, uh, and we have some of our supporting artists here, from um, rappers to actors, Woody Housen is a long-time supporter. Uh, these are my seamstresses, the people that make the clothing. It's very family, family-run factories out in China. Benjamin Zephaniah, who you might know, Mickey Finn, Jungle Legend. Uh, and then on back we have Method Man, Ed Sheeran, uh, Red Man, a lot of a lot of a lot of supporters, 20 years of history, so a lot of supporters. 
What else do we have? We've just recently released the hemp socks. So we've been a t-shirt company for a long time, but we've branched out into socks and boxer shorts, which contain 35% hemp, 20% lyocell, which is uh, sustainable uh, beach, beach trees. Yes, and now we're breaking also into, breaking off into hemp tote bags as well. Uh, we've got a few little kids t-shirts here. This is probably my favorite. This is one of my, my slogans. This is quite cute. And then here's one of the, the women's cut hemp t-shirts. This is by Foon, a designer called Foon. Uh, this is the same fabric as the boxer shorts, so it's the 20% lyocell, 35 hemp, 40 organic cotton, 5%, unfortunately 5% spandex, because there's currently still not an eco alternative to spandex, unfortunately. Best sellers, this one, so 10% of this and this go to the refugee community kitchen, uh, cooking food for homeless people in Brixton and for refugees, of course. Um, the King David's always been a very, very good seller. Uh, plastic fish is continue, continuously very good. But we have so many designs, we, we repeat them, bring them back every season. Let's say tiny, the one with Tiny Tim in, I suppose, the Get Rich or Try showing. So obviously Christmas is a time uh, that uh, we really need to support less fortunate and the Refugee Community Kitchen do fantastic work in doing that. So um, yeah, why not Get Rich or Try sharing Christmas Carol. Hi, my name is Yen and this is my business, Pagura Upcycle. Uh, we've been trading for nearly six years now, so we're using all sorts of recycled materials and to turn them into various range of products like bags, accessories, jewellery, and even now is the dog collars as well. And so we work with different artisans group and makers from different parts of the world. So everything is handcrafted and handmade, and we make sure that uh, all are ethically produced and also vegan-friendly products as well. But what makes us do really unique is everything is made from recycled materials. Uh, we're trying to create a very contemporary look on all our materials. It used to be like all the ethical products, it looks very crafty. So we're trying to change that concept to make it something that people will love buying it and then be proud of using it themselves. So that's what makes us stand out and different from the other kind of like upcycles products. This is all the jewellery that made from uh, recycled inner tubes and they are all handcrafted. It's basically the same like using the paper craft um, We've drawn it on a piece of inner tubes and uh, handcrafted it out using a stencil knife. Uh, none of them is laser cut. It's a way that we kind of like also keeping our artisans group that in the business as well so that they have a sustainable funding to kind of like running their social enterprise, also supporting the uh, environment project that they're doing as well. And this is uh, our Best sellers for men, so this is a wallet that's made from trucks inner tubes and you can still see all the trap patterns that come out of it that makes it quite unique and the belt is actually made from motorbike tires so you can actually see all the trap patterns, the worn trap patterns that from the motorbike tires and we remove all the metals in it and then turn them into belts instead so it makes it a perfect kind of like leather alternative products for men. We also using like bike chains and bicycle inner tubes to turn them into accessories and this is actually made in Nottingham uh, where our company is based. Uh, we just salvage all the bike chains from the repair shops, clean them and turn them into something useful instead. And of course this is from range of the skateboards, uh, broken skateboards and turn them into something beautiful. We are also using like electric wires and printer belts as well so uh, the potential of uh, Upcycling is unlimited and it just really depends on what we can turn them into really. Our best sellers is really for gift wise, uh, jewelries, wallets and also for the higher price range will be like backpacks like that that's made from army tent and inner tube so they're all waterproof materials as well, easy to use, easy to clean. Uh, they can get it from our website which is paguraupcycle.com or they, we have a list of the stockists. Uh, so for example in London we do sell them through Tate Modern as well which we're really grateful for this opportunity to sell through the really high-end kind of like modern gallery and to kind of like bringing the upcycle products to a wider audience. Uh, my name is Emir Harris. Uh, my business partner's name is Tom Morgan. And we came up with the idea for Mr. Nice Pair about six and a half years. In the beginning, it was kind of niche, so we had to try and get out as many places as possible. Now we found things become more mainstream. Um, we can have a good presence wherever we go now. And we find the bigger shows are getting harder because there's 
many more products available. Okay, we're based in South Wales. Um, we've got six pies that we've tested and packaged up. So we've got the mince and onion pie, the junk and mushroom pie, the butternut curry, and a Moroccan tagine, a sweetie todd pie, and a rendang curry. I've been vegan nearly three years. I think I was on more or less a plant-based diet for about two years before then, but I was still eating some fish because I thought I needed them for protein and fats and things, but I just realized then I didn't need to. And I had to give it up because I, once you see things, how the animals are treated, there's no way you can continue eating meat and dairy. Well, me and my friend, were, we were uh, free de la terre, fruits of the earth initially, but we wanted to rebrand and change to just to win vegan pies. And um, my friend came up with the name, uh, we were spitballing names back and forth. And he, one of them was Mr. Nice Pie, and he was like, stop, that's it, we're doing that. And that's what we did. One of our pies is called a Sweetie Todd. So it was a bit of a play on words from Sweeney Todd. So I think it just fell into place for the whole branding scheme then. Well, I live in South Wales Valleys, so it was always meat and veg, always growing up. And all my friends and family, they were always meat and veg, and they all shunned the idea of doing a vegan pie business. And they just couldn't believe that we were doing it. But uh, yeah, over the years, my parents eat mostly a plant-based diet now. Um, my niece, my family, my wife, my two children, they eat more or less plant-based diet. Um, yeah, I've converted so many of my friends and everyone I speak to in the gym, especially with the Game Changers documentary coming out now, has changed a lot of people's opinions. And I do, you know, I, I'm quite active in sport in the gym. So everyone I speak to, they always ask me more advice. How can I go vegan? How can I do this and that? And I'm I quite clued up on it all over the years. So I'm always happy to give my advice. Hot food is a big one for us because um, we've just recently purchased a catering trailer and kitted it up and we're trying to do as many shows as possible with that. Starting off small to get it right. So we're serving hot pies with gravy, curry or beans and chips. We've done um, the vegan camp out which is a massive show, sort of a big massive festival for us over three days. And that was the first one we took the trailer to and it was really, really good. I think remain ethical and remain true to yourself. Don't try and grow for other people and from profit and money. I think that defeats the object. Try and be as um, ethical as you can and stick, stay true to your principles. So I'm Naomi Joy Up. I'm an animal artist and I just love painting animals for different reasons. Um, normally for kind of animal rights issues and that's what I feel strongly about so that's what I do. And Christmas is coming up, so I've got a few things that I'm selling for Christmas on my website in my shop section. So I've got my range of Christmas cards over here. I've got a couple of new designs, obviously fox and badger related, because those are very close to my heart. And I've obviously got um, a turkey and a pig. And on the back of them, they all talk about different uh, issues those particular animals are facing um, and kind of give an insight into them. I'm got a few different designs you can choose from and a few different deals on those designs if you buy multiple ones and I've also got prints you can buy off my website I do A4 and A3 prints of um, all different sorts of artwork um, and screen prints and alongside that I also have my t-shirts for sale and I also if you want to splash out for a loved one I have framed prints and also originals for sale so there's still a few Badger originals available as well. So yeah, please visit my website and um, order some things from me. That would be fab. Hi, uh, it's Ashish Jain. I'm the owner of Life is Star International. The company founded by me and my lovely, you know, beautiful wife in nearly two years, two and a half years before. It's a very big passion for me and especially I'm born in a vegetarian family. So my mom rescued more than, more than 400,000 in India and one day last year I decided to come out and just left the job and live my passion. So I am in this, this business, loving it, meeting a lot of lovely souls, bringing the proper quality vegan products for the people who don't believe in the vegan leather. They think it's going to fall apart, it doesn't last longer and they just thought to buy leather once and just not to support the industry. So I'm changing their mindset bring in the quality vegan products so this is what is all about lifestyle international we believe in luxury fashion with compassion at the same time 
with the affordability as well all right so basically we have a big massive range of the products in our bucket we have more than 400 products but what i believe especially for the ladies for the girls everybody when they're traveling this is a lovely backpack which has got the great features looks nice looks sleek so light in weight and if you turn the bag, it's got the lovely gifs at the back. So this is we call a security backpack. Funny enough, few of my customers say in London, why don't we call it a TFL bag? It's quite safe to use in the TFL as well because it's gonna be at the back side, so no one can rip you from front and from the back. You have a nice little gif for the mobile phones. Same times you can use in a winter time for the styling, very fine details, and the beautiful things you can't even scratch with the nails, pet friendly sun resistance and the water resistance as well so basically when the fashion comes people always think only for the ladies my friends i have a lovely presence for the gentlemen as well look at the belt this is not the ordinary belt it is something unique and the person who is filming me i guess he is using this belt from last one and a half years as well so this belt we call auto belt it's got the lovely teeth over here so Look at the quality test. This is not a stupid PVC and the plastic sort of thing. It's made of very high grade synthetic fiber. This is a very lovely material. Could be used office, could be used even on the jeans and chinos. And also, why it is auto bad? Because it locks automatically. Like you can see, look at the force I'm putting. It's not going anywhere. And with the one click, it's undo. Important thing, you can even reposition anytime, any you know, for anybody with the one scissor and just job done. We believe in slow fashion, so you can use black, brown, any other strap in the future. Thank you very much. And you can find me on www.lifestyleint.co.uk, which is L I F E S T Y L E I N T.co.uk. Thank you. Hi, I'm Louisa from Viva. We're a UK campaigning organisation. We campaign for the animals, for the environment and for health with undercover investigations and street actions. We've been at VegFest this weekend, had a great weekend of people wanting to get involved with Viva through our join campaign, also buying lots of our merch. So yeah, it's been really good. With Christmas just around the corner, we're about to launch our Peace to All campaign is about not eating animals this Christmas, especially turkeys that are often the centerpiece of the table. We also have loads of merch that you guys can buy for Christmas, including t-shirts, hoodies, lots of sweets and treats to keep everybody happy this Christmas. So yeah, we hope if you visit beavershop.org.uk, you can find everything that you need to make your vegan Christmas as amazing as possible. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Jenny from Hungry Herbie and we run vegan food tours in Bath and a vegan discount card that covers the southwest online and also markets. With the food tours, we spend three hours walking around the beautiful city of Bath, trying delicious options at loads of different places. We try street food, products from local traders. With the food tours, I want to show the amazing variety now available to vegans. When I first went vegan, it took me quite a while to transition from vegetarian to veganism because I didn't think I could eat anything when I went out for meals and I want to disprove this on the food tours. There's so many great options out there and it, the food tours aren't just for vegans. For anyone who's open-minded and wants to try some delicious vegan food, they make a perfect gift. We also run the Hungry Herbie card. This is 100% wooden and it's a vegan discount card that when you show it in participating venues, you gain a discount on vegan items. This is to encourage people to make the kind of choice and choose vegan. There's lots of great places on the card and we like to focus on small independent traders. We have a companion app to go with the card. This makes it even easier to find the discounts out and about. At Hungry Herbie we want to give back and we donate a minimum of 10% of our profits to Cockershell Farm Sanctuary. Cockershell Farm Sanctuary looks after a lot of different animals and the donations really help. So thank you everyone who supported us in the last year and a half we've been running and thank you to anyone who might support us in the future. Both the discount card and the food tours make brilliant gifts to people. If you'd like to find out any more information, visit hungryherbie.co.uk. Thanks everyone for sharing your interesting stories about your vegan businesses and it's great to see such enthusiasm and originality and choice when it comes to buying vegan nowadays.
We hope you all have a successful Christmas and in 2020 Vegan Orb is going to be focusing more on showcasing vegan businesses like this from all over the world. So if you want to be featured in a future Vegan Orb video, then put your details in the comments below and tell us about your vegan business with a link to the website. The more we can help the vegan community connect like this, the better for everyone. At the start of the video, I also promised I would reveal what I thought are the top vegan Christmas presents to get as gifts with details on where to buy them. In no particular order, they are as follows. I highly recommend um, the Vegan Cut Snack Box. It's a monthly subscription box that you can get at vegancuts.com and um, I think it would be a great gift. You can either buy one box or like a three month subscription or six months or a full year subscription. They have beauty boxes as well and they also have specialty boxes for gluten free or peanut free or whatever dietary needs you have. Um, if you're shopping for a vegan such as myself, um, I always love, I, I love makeup and beauty products. Um, so a gift of uh, eyeshadow palette from Tarte or uh, Kat Von D or Urban Decay would be very exciting and vegan um, gift for uh, someone like me. I would also recommend finding out your gifties favorite vegan restaurant is and getting a gift certificate. Um, that way it's you're not purchasing something wasteful for them. You know it's definitely something that they will use and enjoy and eat delicious food. I hope you found these vegan gift ideas fun and useful. And remember, it's the thought that counts. And a vegan present says so much more about you and helps the planet and animals at the same time, which is important to us all. Thank you so much for watching and supporting Vegan Orb in 2019. Please like, comment, and share to help us keep growing the channel and the community. This is me, Miss Red Vegan, saying goodbye for now. Until next time, Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year.